started with 50 summers, hundreds of group stage matches, 45 single elimination matches. Two champions arose from those tournaments, all pointing to this moment. 14 summoners fight for the right to be called the VBCs, one above all. Welcome to Vegas Battle World. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, both the contestants are getting started. So I want to jump right into it just to set the table though. Before we do, you can see this is Group B action. Group B was won by Tom Jarvis. This is B McG and DLL fighting for that second place finish to give themselves a chance to advance. The loser of this match, their VBC season one will be done. It'll be a phenomenal season. They can be very proud of but they obviously want to win this one and advance. Now they're both streaming via Discord. As you can see, that's slightly new setup. If you did not see today's earlier stream, really great matchup between none other than Bitter Steel and Yusafa Gaming. We're going with this. I'm open to a little bit of feedback. I do want to give quick credit to none other than McLinks, who is a competitor in this tournament. Their channel on Twitch is linked in the description. I saw a tournament that they host. I thought the format did look superior, provides a little bit more visibility of the players and their action. Of course, that's what I want to give you. I'm always open to feedback, though. Let's go. Let's get started. We've got DLL versus B McG. They have provided some of the most exciting uh, seven set matches in all of this, setting the table in tournament number one. And they've done it multiple times against each other. I can see the crowd, though. I think B McG has got the advantage. B did enter as the higher seed between the two. We will close the poll right now and see how it plays. This is why you play the game. This is why you play the game. Here we go, right here. Thank you so much to Miss DK. All the awesome graphics. Do you see all this up here? Because of Miss DK, you need some graphic work done. You gotta go see Miss DK. Link to their channel. Their uh, Twitter feed is in the description. And Trassus, what is going on? Rye, Robert Jeffries, infamous Wilson. Bean, what's up, dude? I'm allowing this, I'm allowing this. Maybe about 30 minutes though, all right? <laughs> what's up, Spud? How y'all doing? Uh, Bagaman, how you doing? Dark Rebellion. Uh, DL Streams, wait, there's nothing I can do about it. The interesting thing is they're both actually streaming via Discord and it's on the same screen. It's literally the same one. Uh, there's nothing I can do about it to the best of my knowledge. I, and I can maybe try to fiddle with it, but I see that and I will adjust the aspect ratios a little bit as we go here too. I think we can get a little bit more of B screen in there too. Giant Wallace, Laser, Nick, Stock. What is going on? Bedtime for being study time, my friend. Study time, then bedtime. You need to sleep. Thank you very much for the compliment, Alfie and Zach Richards coming in with the donation and the support. You know, I always, always appreciate. Let's get that up on the board as we start off step one. What's up, Legacy? You getting ready to finally compete in this tournament? I did not realize how long it would be before you and Fintech actually got to do some fights. All right, I'm going to try adjusting B screen a little bit here so we can get a little bit more. Just a smidge more here of what B is up to. I think that's good. And then I'll try to adjust DLL. Uh, this this Archangel versus Atuma, I don't think this is gonna work out so well for B. Um, although he's landing the Neurotoxin, so maybe he's showing me something that I don't know. He's doing a nice job of not pairing, punishing that heavy, which is punishable, which is punishable. He's doing a nice job. The thing is with the tomb is when you reverse his ability accuracy, it actually goes the other way. And then we've got Tigra up here against Thing. That is coming in awfully dark. That must just be how DLL plays. Very surprised by that Archangel versus the tomb. I think that shows really nice skill and gameplay uh, by B McG there to avoid the parries. Let me see if I can fix up uh, DLL stream here a little bit.
DLL plays on an iPad very often. So that's one of the things with the aspect ratio for him. But I think that will allow us to get a little bit more view. This gameplay here. Oh, that's nice. And then I will go back to B. And we can make that a little bit wider there. And there we go. All right. So B is obviously taking the first one. <laughs> Fintech, were you aware of that? I know I know that you're talking with J. Will there. What's up, J. Will? But I, I was very surprised by that. I've never even tried Archangel versus Atuma. Uh, just because of all the ways I feel like it could go wrong. And B is on the board. Tiger's thing isn't that good for them. So it appears no. It appears that is the case. Uh, Fintech saying that, yeah, he was telling Jason that it, Jay will, Jason of Jason and Jabari Gaming that it does work, but he didn't believe me. I didn't think it would either because I feel like everything Archangel does, Atuma would reverse, but apparently not. B did do a nice job of not trying to parry him though. Parry stun him, he punished that heavy, which is punishable. Uh, it's not too bad. And Rai is just taunting j -Wall. Your Atuma is weak. I would never ban him. Right. right. Talks a good game, but he backs him up, backs it up. Uh, Misty is back. Thank you for being here, Misty K. Yeah, Vassa went way better than I thought. I'm thinking it went way better than DLL thought it would go as well as we move into the second game of this first set. We're seeing Mysterio in action. I cannot stand Mysterio. Don't be trash in Atuma. Uh-oh. An Atuma fight is breaking out in the chat. Will the chat be as exciting as the actual matchup itself? We will only find out together. All right, so here we are with infamous Iron Man going up against the Spidey. Nice job of landing the heavy stun with the shock. Hulkling do a, a, a nice job there with B. B is doing that Hulkling gameplay. I know I've shown that. I think B has shown that. Uh, Legacy, I believe, has shown it in a couple of his war videos, too, of getting Hulkling to two bars of power before the defender even can throw a special. Getting mine to rank five has really helped out with that. I don't think B is going to be able to finish off this Mysterio though before he throws a special. So he's going to have to kind of wait here. It's the tick, 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 tick. The time is going. The time is going. He does not know how it's going on the other side. His Spidey is doing a phenomenal job, though. It's holding up, installing like it's supposed to. Getting the SB2 of Hulkling and done. B is going to uh, take the first set here. So it is 1-0 B McG of uh, 4 Loki. Like I said, though, these two competitors have had some of the most exciting matchups in all of my tournaments over the course of the whole first season. Would not be surprised to go to be the best of seven in Battle World, though, which is the current tournament you're watching. Hopefully, you saw the intro that's put together by White Mummy. It's phenomenal. This is 14 of the highest rated summoners in all of the VBC. A couple competitors could not participate due to real life reasons. And we have not had a best of seven yet. Uh, the champions here, I'll pull up the screen as we uh, kind of wait here. The number one seeds of Happy McMuffin, TJ McLinks, and then uh, Nick. Actually, was uh, uh, was not, but Andrew the Rough. So each group was run, won by a 2-0. And they all secured advancement into the championship bracket there with Legacy and FinTech. And then uh, Mike was able to best Nick. MU8 and MP Blaze are playing tomorrow. And then you softened Bitter. Actually, went earlier today. I can I because of how YouTube works, I'm aware that people are watching that. So I don't think I'll say the winner. If I do later, I don't think it's the bigger deal. It's a really good, nice matchup there. And they will be playing... Uh, for entry into what we're calling the Deadlands bracket. Essentially, it's a consolation bracket. We wanted this tournament. It was actually at the, uh, at the request of Legacy, and then Fintuck told me he really liked the idea as well, that this was a double elimination tournament. So I'm going to see how this works out for this one. It might be something we carry into Season 2. I am really liking it for this one. And so this is kind of requiring each competitor to lose twice before they're fully eliminated.
to Rafa when someone doesn't know how to play against a two-man. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I honestly actively avoided the matchup because I didn't realize that could work out that well. Oakland, best champ in the game. <laughs> you know I like him. You know I like him. We're doing our top tens when the Cosmics come around. I mean, it's going to have to be Hercules, right? But of the non-Herc Cosmic champions, I think it's got to be Hulkling. Uh-oh, we're seeing the sad emoji there. I think that's due to Ant-Man being gone, B. McG's Wiccan being gone, and his spider, Spidey Supreme. DLL holding nothing back, but B. McG kind of started it, I think, with banning Absorbing Man, one of DLL's uh, self-called children. I think if you create champions for the game, if you're a champion designer, you can call them your children. I think that's fair. Gallon Soprano. I, I know, Wilson, I know there's some Gallon fans out there. I know it. And I do understand he benefits greatly from the extra rank. And I love Gallon myself. But Hulkling, Hulkling is a different kind of champion. Infamous saying he thinks the numbers support Hulkling. You can't argue with Infamous. You can't argue with numbers. You put them together. You just can't even argue with it. You can't argue with it. Uh, another generous donation from OG Highland. Thank you so much. I know I know you're not going to be able to cheer on this one, OG Highland. Are you Are you going to be able to watch it? <laughs> are you going to cheer for a best of seven and then hope it ends in a tie? Thank you so much for the support, as always. Uh, I really do appreciate it a lot. All right, here we go. Uh, with an option to take Kate, I think when you get a chance to take Kate, I have yet to run into the meta this season where I have not taken her. This is in the Gladiator Circuit and the Victory Track. She's just that phenomenal. You did have, I have had to adjust how I play her a little bit in this current meta. Uh, and I did lose a match with her because there were some things I did not foresee, but I think that's the only one I've lost with her. She's that consistently good. A chance to take a Tuma decides not to. Probably thinking has enough defenders up there. Or uh, the Shuri is a natural counter to a Tuma. She places the shocks. And so she does a really, really solid job there. So that's a nice rank up and draft for DLL. Preventing a strong defender from potentially having use on B. McG's side. B. McG has taken in that Namor. Keep an eye on that for potential use versus a Tuma. Should a Tuma even get placed? DLL might think obviously b knows how to handle a tuma after we just saw and now namor i think is potentially an even superior option for a tuma than archangel is nahorn what's up dude yusafa what's going on buddy thank you so much for being here <laughs> i love or uh, like 30 seconds ago we almost had a fight in the chat and now we just have hearts we just have love Love. That is awesome. I love to see it. Okay, so here we go. we got Stark Spidey going up against Ebony Maw. Going to be kind of tough, I would think, to build up those poise with uh, Starkey while also making sure you still heavy Ebony Maw. Of course, you do not want him getting into Black Tongue. B does not seem to be phased or concerned with that in any way, shape, or form. And then on the other side, we have Crossbones versus Terax. I don't think Terax is a hero, so this is kind of a... Um, uh, going, fighting uphill a little bit here. I don't believe Terax is a hero. Correct me in the chat if I am wrong, but I do not think he is. So I think this is a, kind of a tough fight for, for Crossbones. He can take these. I love Crossbones. I just don't think it's what he's intended for. And then we've got Stark Spidey. B needs to end it, though. Realizes he's just not going to be able to. He's got the falter on him. Let's see if he's able to go and finish this off with the stun, maybe, and the SP1. It is enough. He clears it. I think with the health pool he has left and the time, he's going to come away with another uh, game win here. I, I don't know exactly their matchups for the next two, but I think DLL, this may have been a bit of a, a strategic throw of sorts or strategic use of his roster. Let's see what he has in store for game one and two. B. McG takes the 1-0 lead in this one.
Grizz, yeah, every, a lot of people are conflicted. A lot of people who are fans of one channel are fans of the other. They, they kind of go together, these two. And they've put us, they've provided so much drama for us in the VBC uh, in multiple tournaments. What's up, the alternate? How you doing? Terax is not a hero. Thank you, Thanos. I was pretty sure he's not. B is pulling out of the stops, Misty. B is, B is going hard. He showed up warm. He showed up very, very warm. I actually do not know, Johanna, it's a great question. I do not think either of them is streaming on their actual channels. They're both sharing via Discord. I know B has moved to that for, uh, I think, internet reasons. And then DLL offered to do it when he found out B was streaming via Discord. DLL offered to do it so that this timing was um, was linked up really well. Please do still go support both their channels. I know everyone in the chat is talking about how they're having trouble even cheering. So I'm sure you're subscribed to both of them. But in case you're not, the links to all the competitors in the tournament are in the description. And they're there so that you can go support them. See how easy I made it on you. Thank you very much for the support you show them. <laughs> Yusuf DL is streaming on his channel. Fantastic. I would appreciate it if you, if you, uh, I know on mobile you can't, but if you're not on a mobile device, if you could pull up the stream too, give it a thumbs up. It would mean a lot to me. All right, here we go. So I think DL needs to win. We're going to watch him. I think he'll probably try to pull off a similar strategy of maybe making it so Bishop can never even throw a special. I believe I showed that on uh, my recent video of my rank five Hulkling. I'm so happy with him as a rank five. I think DL is trying to pull that off. He's setting it up. He, I think his is not a rank five, though. I don't know if he's going to be able to get there. Let's see, though. Oh, yep. Yeah, here he goes. Bishop was having none of it. Bishop was having none of that nonsense. And Bishop just deletes Hulkling. Just absolutely deletes him. Let's see if B is able to dex this SP2. I know I personally have a lot of trouble dexing this SP2. That water balloon. There it is. Myself and PWF were talking about that very thing, that water balloon. It is designed to hurt, and it does not miss. It does not miss. Yeah, Bishop said we are not playing around. None of this cutesy stuff. <laughs> I actually died uh, in a match recently to someone's Bishop. I had played it well. I was going to win the third set. I had, I had the matchup for sure uh, in hand. And his bishop just deleted me with an SP2. Good point, lags. That is a rank five bishop, too. That is a rank five bishop as well. So B McG, 2 0. If you've watched enough of these, you know, I, I don't worry about a 2 0 start. I don't think that's much. It's this third one that's a big deal. It's the third one that's a big deal, right? I mean, I know B, B is playing very well. So I think that is something to, to kind of take account of here. But I've watched so many of these. I've seen and commented on so many of these. DLL pulls off a win in this third set, and it is a totally different ball game. I believe I may have a co-host or someone who's joined. It is none other than one of my heralds for this tournament. He earned that position by winning one of the tournaments of the course of this season and being the number two rated player in the whole Vega Battlegrounds Championship. Welcome none other than Legacy himself. Thanks for joining the stream, buddy. Yeah, what's going on, Vega? How you doing, bud? Good. This is an excellent match that we're watching here. Yeah. Figured I might as well jump on. I appreciate it, dude. I appreciate it very much. Uh, B, is, B is putting down a phenomenal show, I think. He's on fire. I don't think I've ever seen him play this good. Does he have you, that, does he, does he have you concerned? Are you, are you like, oh my gosh, another challenger? I'm a little concerned for DLL right now. <laughs> <laughs> that Atuma fight was so slick. I was very impressed. I did not know Archangel could do that. I thought it, reversing Atuma's um, ability accuracy like that was would be curtains for B. I, I think that was more difficult than he made it look. Yeah, definitely. He got some pretty good RNG as well, so that definitely helped a bit. Never hurts when you have lags. Okay, I'll adjust lags. Lags, don't change your volume. I'll do that on my side. Okay, bud? Yep, sounds good. What's up, Manuel? Misty, good to see you, buddy. Have to watch the A fight? Yeah, definitely worth watching back. Can you all let me know, is Legacy coming in at a... Yeah, are we good? At a delightful volume now. <laughs> That's what I love about Discord. Very easy to change volumes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, every once in a while, it changes like the source of my volume or the output. One of the two. I'm not sure which one it is. 
and that causes some hilarity and <laughs> some confusion on my side. But aside from that, uh, Discord's been pretty awesome. Yeah, I like it. So as much as I was saying that I don't think the first two sets matter that much, the third one's really important. You don't want to go down 0-3. You just don't want to do it. So DL does need to win. It's just if he wins this one, I think it just completely, it, it really does shift the complexion of the uh, match. I've just seen it time and time again. And I'm glad you said hello to Manuel. Manuel, what's up, dude? Thank you so much for being here. Very interesting. It looks like Diallo decided to take Blade over his Kate Bishop there. Maybe he's scared of the defensive Gallon. Yeah, I, I know he get he's a big believer in that whole uh, dimensional being, right? Uh, with Blade, he's a big fan of mm -hmm. Blade, and and uh, Gallon is a dimensional being, correct? Yeah. Personally, I would be using America Chavez for that Gallon. Yeah, he's got. Doesn't Tiger work for Gallon as well? Uh, I would think so. People are saying they don't like Tiger for this meta. I, I, I will admit, and I know this is going to sound like a stupid humble brag. It's, it's just more me admitting uh, my failing memory. I can't recall what the victory trap meta is. Uh, Rai actually sent it to me, but I made it yeah. th through the victory track much earlier than I normally do uh, this season, and um, and I'm just having trouble remembering it. Yeah, so it's masochism over time, and the regen is just five percent. I would think Tiger would have handled that fine. I'm not. I'm not a real Tiger player, so I don't. I probably didn't use her much in this, but I, wouldn't her. Um, can't think of what it is that she does. It's called her. Wouldn't her neutralize prevent the? I would imagine. I don't know. I I ban Tiger every single match, so yeah. I'm definitely not the guy to ask. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks like DLL is trying Tiger versus thing again, though. It, it went pretty poorly for him earlier. Let, let's kind of mm -hmm. see. Like, see, yeah, there's the neutralize. It's up. It's, um, I mean, I, yeah, no, he's doing a nice job. So I, I don't know. It looks like B decided to use that gallon offensively anyway. So I think that blade pick might have been a bit of a mistake. Yeah, because now what do you do with blade? And I realize a lot of people like Blade. I get it. I'm not trying to dog on Blade here. But this is kind of how the Tiger matchup went earlier for DLL. It just felt like it. He was. He struggled to get get a nice rhythm going. And it looks like the kind of same thing is happening here. Uh, FinTech. Who I my understanding is FinTech knows a little bit about how to play. Tiger, I, I don't, I don't know if we can, if we can get that confirmed from an outside source. I would appreciate that, but this this fintech person is saying that Tiger works fine for this victory track. Yeah, I think he he knows what he's talking about with Tiger. Yeah, okay, all right. If you if you can verify that, I'll accept it as a good source. But you just have to draft her, as he said. I believe he uh, didn't draft her in his last tournament. It's <laughs> pretty bad luck there. Yeah. Uh, and you know, B B takes the lead. Uh, Gallon doing Gallon things there against this Mysterio. This just doesn't go in DLL's way right now, and that can happen sometimes. I know this. I know the quality of the um, of the streams just isn't that good. I don't believe there's anything I can do about it. I think this is all purely through Discord. So it's not like YouTube where I can adjust the uh, the, the visual quality. So we'll just kind of work with what we got. That thing fight definitely went better, but just not quite enough. Hopefully that got DLL's confidence back up there, though. So DLL has a... that's rank 5 Toad, right? Yes. Okay. That'll be an interesting fight. I think B would probably opt for Overseer. Ooh, but <laughs> B returns the favor with his rank 5 bishop again. This should be a fun round to see. <laughs> Is that ace? <laughs> yeah, you run into the window. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, Overseers have been doing nasty things in the Gladiator circuit. Um, you know, I guess he is poison immune, so is that the idea here against this Toad? 
Yeah. I think he still can get stunned, though. Yeah, right. Uh, Toad can stun a poison immune. It's like on the 10th one or something. I don't remember exactly how that works. Yeah, and then after Toad throws specials, I think he's going to be triggering the masochism. Yep. As well. But it's only 5% regen, so it's not too bad. You know what? This is interesting. He just needs one special two out of Toad here, then I think he should be able to nuke him. But he's not throwing it. Want to draw attention That's to DL just nailing the SB2 of 8 up there against Bishop. Uh, Scorpion's as a signature ability, can he block all unblockables if the taunt's up or only against Mystics? Uh, yeah, all unblockables, but it has to be special attacks. Okay. It looks like... Uh, man, the, it's really pixelated up there, so I can't tell if DL has got the taunt up. I think he does, and he chose to block a little bit of that one. Yeah, unfortunately for B, Toad just did not want to throw that special, and his uh, his cosmic mode fell off. Now he's got to build it back up and re-enter. Oh, man, and now Bishop throws the SP1. <laughs> yeah, looks like DL is going to... I think he almost down, though. Maybe this L1 will do it. Can't tell that it's really pixelated uh, on my view. I think it's like two percent or something. It's, it looks pretty low. <laughs> and then due to the node, he got a heal. I think B's still going to take it though. Yeah, just on health. Yeah, both those fights went pretty much the full duration. Uh, so that's bad. You know, I was saying that I thought the the first two sets not too big of a deal. You don't want to lose the third set. You you don't you don't want to go down 3-0. Yeah, I think DLL just really needs to just win a round just to get some momentum going, and then mm -hmm. I think he'll be all right. Yeah, just get a little confidence. That's how it is with these tournaments, you know? Uh, I think just getting a little bit of confidence can make a world of difference. Because not only does Absolutely. it give you a little confidence, it does take at least a little bit. It lets the person who is up 2-0 or whatever, it... it, it, it it lets them know, okay, I can lose, you know? Um, yeah. So I, I think it's a statement. It's not just a give, it's a take a bit uh, as well. Do you all confident in the bands? I think those are good bands. <laughs> Infamous. <laughs> He's heard the comeback <laughs> start with... <laughs> I've seen that many times. Uh, Clara, DL pluses, places Elsa. Okay. <laughs> uh, OG Bishop says DL is saying what? The, yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. I will say, I just learned that you could potentially use Scorpion in a pinch for Bishop. I had never thought of that before. So looks like DL is taking Tiger once again. And that's Scorpion. Both these guys are definitely drafting their comfort champs. Mm -hmm. Ooh, another Atuma. Oh, but B gets that name more. You don't see a lot of Namors, but he does make a perfect Atuma counter. Yeah, he really would be great for... I mean, he feels like the counter, except... Uh, I, maybe Kitty? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sure, he's, sure, he's not bad. The great thing with Namor is just, you know, you don't have to really worry. With Kitty, you got to manage your your invisibility and everything. But with Namor, as long as you're SIG 200, that, that's, that's the worry, getting him there. Once he's there, he's good. You're golden. Yep, and there's the Atuma. Okay, this will be good to see again. I think B had a little slip up, like you said, the the water balloon. I caught him. Dude, it gets me every time. <laughs> I think that might be part me of why I, I like Kitty so much, is because she can phase it. But yeah. it gets me every time. Here it is. We'll see if B gets hit by the killer yeah. water balloon. They both got pretty good matchups here. Mm -hmm. This one will just be whoever's faster. 
I think I'm leaning towards B slightly. Just because Scorpion can't access the Petrify in this meta. Oh yeah, that's right. This is the one too where you can't like uh, manipulate power, so like Doom's a little weaker. No, that was the circuit. Okay. Yeah. I know it gets a little confusing with so many metas. Yeah, it, it's this is honestly the first time I've ever gone so quickly through stuff. I I really raced through, um, and so I've I've played a lot of them. You know, it's funny we were talking about Discord and how well it's been working, and it is. I think it is really. It is not working well today. <laughs> no, B's frozen. Yeah, B's just completely frozen. And DL's a little blurry. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's in a special three now. Health is looking good. I'm assuming he activated uh, his in moat, Imperious Rex. Imperious Rex. He did, yes. So now he can just throw those specials. And that's a Tuma dead. Yeah. Very well played by B. That's a dead Tuma. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, Scorpion just, it really sucks without the Petrify. Hey, I have a question for you, Lax, while we've got you on call. And I'd like a, gen like a genuine answer. I'm not trying to set you up for some sort of compliment of the tournament, okay? Um, sure. Is uh, in a tournament, I chose to go best of seven for the whole turn this whole tournament, which I know is a lot, is long, right? Do you yeah. like that in a tournament, or you prefer more like a best of three or a best of five type thing? Oh, yeah, man. I, the longer, the better. I want to see some best of nines mm -hmm. as you get towards the end. Just kind of takes away the RNG elements and stuff, right? For sure. Yeah. The longer the games, the less RNG overall, I that, like to think. That's my thinking, too. I just know it requires a time commitment out of everyone, and it's tough to link up yeah. with people like... We have people in Europe and South and Central America, right? Uh, I believe we have a couple of people in Asia. So it could just get really difficult. I do agree with Thanos Star. I think B is playing as well as I've seen anyone play in the tournament. Yeah, he's on fire today. Yeah. The alternate... <laughs> it's in the chat, uh, Lags. I'm not going to repeat it. But the alternate <laughs> thinks that would be your ideal format. <laughs> That'd be fun. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Looks like B is throwing this round. That makes total sense. So DLL is finally probably going to get around here. That's this could be the momentum shift that he needs. I noticed he was banning Rintra or in some of the earlier matches, but he's got Archangel here, so he should be all good. I hate Rintra, dude. I I uh, oh, all of a sudden DLL stream is like crystal clear. Watch, huh? it. all of a sudden he's going to start playing phenomenally. That'd be funny if those are <laughs> related somehow. I, I can't stand Richard, dude. The higher tier Battleground I play, the less I like him for some reason. Yeah, he's pretty crazy, especially in this meta. DL is sticking those parries, though. He's doing, a, he's, he's doing a nice job. That fight can be messed up. I've seen it messed up. Yeah, his RNG is going pretty good as well. He just needs to get a good special bait. And that's a triple resist, but yeah. it resulted in a special bait. So it ended up working. It worked. <laughs> that was interesting to see. Yeah. You don't see a triple resist every day. Nice play. Uh, B Bittersteel did that earlier today, too. I think he had an Archangel versus Rintra matchup. And intentionally letting Rintra hit his uh, hit you into your block, not you know, make sure it's into your block off yeah, that yeah, special, special one. Yeah, get a definitely couple of poisons up. Yeah, it does. Yeah, make this was definitely what DL needed. I'm cheering for him. As you He's guys, on the board. no, I don't cheer for a competitor to win. I do cheer for uh, the longest match possible. It's the best show possible, and I want everyone to feel good about the show they put on too. Yeah, that's the way to go. Best of sevens make for good content. Mm -hmm. I can't believe we haven't had one yet, man. Uh, that's shocking. That is. I'm sure we'll see one soon. Yeah. Yeah, because the winners, the, all these second uh, place finishers in their groups are going to have like a little mini tournament, a little mini bracket to qualify for the consolation bracket. So um, I said I wouldn't give away, but I, I think it's fine. I think most people here probably watched it already. 
Uh, Bitter Steel has has moved into advancement. Karate Mike, then the winner of this one, and then the winner of MP Blaze versus uh, Bryce. I believe you've had some matchups with Bryce. He's a really good player. And oh, uh, yeah, yeah, he he definitely is. So th- th- that's going to set up a nice little mini tournament for those two to make it in. I know you, Safa, there is a little bit of a Nasser's curse I'm worried about, but I'm, I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to, I, you know, there's nothing I could do. <laughs> wow, looks like DL puts down Valkyrie. He just didn't really have a, a good option. Yeah. This yeah. is going to be tough. Going Tigra. He's got to channel his inner fintech here. Pull yeah. out something crazy. I mean, I'm cheering for him. It could happen. Or keep baiting these heavies until the SB2, right? Is that the idea? I have no idea. I would think so. And this allows you to stack a lot of ruptures, I would think. Here he goes. Make sure Bishop doesn't throw a special. Nicely done, DLL. Man, I just feel like special two here. Okay, it's working. I feel like Tiger is not hitting as hard in this meta. I don't know why. I don't know if that's true even or accurate. But that's been my. Oh my god, he almost had another triple resist. <laughs> DLL is playing really good here. Okay. Throw your SP two. He's this gonna lose. Work. No, the special. Oh. He played it so well that it's not, I mean. No. Oh my, that is heartbreaking. He played that so well. He really played it well. Oh, that feels so bad. It does, because he played that so well. He just didn't have a defender. And if he and, had just a semi-decent defender, he would have had it. And, and, you know, that's B. B has to take advantage of that. You know, he's got to play well, right? There's a tournament. You don't want DLL to get a win. And um, so B's got to finish that off. But DLL played that so well. He played that so well. That, that's very unfortunate. Oh, and a, a B McG with a celebratory <laughs> Paragon. There you go. Oh, no. I didn't buy any of those today. I was tempted. I was very, very tempted, but I did not. <laughs> I think B got a seven-star hot guy or something today. <laughs> he was saying. And for his troubles, he gets a stealthy. <laughs> uh let's see i gotta unmute uh dl i'll bring him back in here so he can hear us and we can hear him yep hello hey man how are you it is what it is man yeah i was i know you guys couldn't hear me but uh my cat said i was losing it i was laughing like a crazy person when um, I went four heavies in a row with zero bleeds against your intro there. Yeah. It just, was, yeah, is what it is. I I think, uh, you know, silver linings and all, the Tiger play there at the end versus Bishop had all of us cheering. I mean, that was really nice. Dude, you cr- absolutely crushed that fight. That was very impressive. Thanks, man. Yeah, I knew I didn't have a defender. I was, yeah, the only way I was winning that was if B messed up and I don't. <laughs> I don't make those bets. Yeah. <laughs> Thank uh, you. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, B, B, BXG has joined us too. B, um, you were on fire. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> now, You're I know, playing top of your game, man. Yeah. I just yeah. have one question. Um, who the frick did you pay to ship my iDoom off to China after round um, one? <laughs> <laughs> I paid Janik. <laughs> Oh, that was fun. <laughs> yeah. Have you used yeah. uh have you used Scorpion for Bishop before? I, I had never really thought of that as kind of a pinch use there. I thought that was pretty smart. It's been a while. Yeah. Like I wasn't expecting to win, but I know it can work. Um the special two in the middle of there was actually a mistake. I wanted to stay on special ones and it was working okay. I just had a bit of an input issue there where I Dexed out with the the right thumb, which is normally safe, and it just dropped block anyway. Yeah. It happens. It happens. All right, and uh, a B. I mean, like I said, man, that you were playing. I mean, those scores were extremely high. I think that was as good a performance yeah, as we've seen in the tournament. Were you expecting that coming in? Um, I wasn't expecting anything. 
I, I don't want to like go in hoping for something or expecting to lose. Like I went in going against TJ expecting to lose and I did. <laughs> so I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to have any expectations going into any more matches. So, um, no, I wasn't really expecting any results, just kind of trying to do what I needed to do. Okay. Well, yeah. I, I do want to take a second. We've got legacy on here. Uh, Lags, do you have any questions for, for the competitors? Uh, yeah, B, have you ever done Archangel versus Atuma before? Oh, yeah. No. Um, no? That was, <laughs> that was the first uh, timer? Yeah, Speaking of things you people. paid people for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that was an that oh, shoot, I don't have a counter moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we, we were all pretty surprised. Didn't think it was going to work out too well, and then you just absolutely crushed it. Well, that, that's the beauty of Atuma, though, because I lost, like, what, 30% health? And the only reason I did so well is because I finished so fast. Yeah. Yeah. It was a 44 second fight, I believe, with, um, you know, a 50,000 score, which is like pretty bad for a 44 second fight. Um, and Archangel for Atuma is terrible. Um, right. Like normally, because when you reduce his ability accuracy, you're actually increasing it. So all the thorns damage is, is just going to skyrocket. I just got really, really lucky in that fight. I, I, that's pretty humble of you because you all. I noticed you also played it very well though too, baiting the heavies, not pairing him, and then punishing right. with the heavy. I mean, I, in a sense, you kind of made the best of what you had, and and it worked yeah. out. So I, I did think it was a good play. But that thanks for bringing that to light too. Why that's not an ideal counter? Like we saw the ideal counter there, or one of the ideal counters with Namor, then that ended up being uh, quite fast. Yeah, yeah. I hadn't used Namor much in my battlegrounds deck. Um, and I haven't used him for buff the Tuma yet, so the first time was a bit rough. Well, I'm I, uh, I'm in a couple. I'm not in a lot of chats, but I'm in this one chat with some extremely smart players, and I was asking them for ideas on how to fight a Tuma. And uh, I believe at least three of them in the chat said Namor would be a good idea. So that was cool to see to see that uh, that happen. Um, yeah, that second one cleaned up really well, man. Yeah, he really did. Thank you. He, he really yeah, did. That's, that's typically how most fights go with Namor, generally speaking, though. If you get to the special three, trigger Imperius Rex, and then drop the special three, then drop your special two, the fight's pretty much over with. It's just going right. to be a 60 second fight ramping to the special three. It's almost like he's a good champion. He it's, is pretty decent. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> uh, Lags, any other questions for the competitors? Um, no, I, I think that's it. Uh, one question. Uh, DLL, uh, on one mm -hmm. of the drafts you had, uh, was, I saw Toad, Kate Bishop, and Blade. And you ended up picking Blade over Kate. Uh, that surprised me a little bit. Was that just because B had the Gallon? You were just pairing yep. with you as put on defense? Yeah, that was purely for that. And I also, I looked over at B's uh, draft, and I could tell through most of those drafts, like, he didn't ban Kate because he was, as far as I could tell, intentionally not playing into her mm, okay. yeah that was yeah that was also true right i have a pretty decent idea of what slows her down and there was an awful lot of it on the other side of the screen <laughs> okay that makes sense well uh very cool gentlemen i personally need to get to my dinner i didn't i appreciate you staying up late on a monday evening for this putting on a show B, you have advanced. Uh, we'll figure that out with Karate Mike. Uh, obviously, yourself. Hey, congrats, and Bitter, man, and good luck. Yeah, and then we have Bitter Steel, Thank and then you. the winner of MU8 versus MP Blaze tomorrow. DLL, you know, I mean, I, I know it's never fun to to be done with the tournament, but a top 15 showing in the whole the whole tournament set up over a course of four tournaments, and it's incredibly, incredibly impressive. <laughs> and, I, and I thank you for nice. being a part of it, you know, for getting out there and having the fortitude uh, to go out there and stream in front of a bunch of people in, in a tournament format. So thank you so much for doing that. Thanks, man. I'm honestly, I was surprised to be included in this one. It's, I know I've had a few good rounds, but there are so many strong players in here. I, yeah, I'm not surprised given the field in this one in particular that it's been O2. Yeah. Well, I didn't even qualify. Put together. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, Thank you so much for the generous donations from Zach Richards and OG Highline, and then everyone in the chat. Thank you. We'll, I'm going to do my best tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to be able to cover MU8s versus MP Blaze. Keep an eye on their channels because they will be streaming it. 
And then I think we'll be back on Wednesday with the first matchups in the championship round too. So we're all, it's moving fast. There's a lot going on. Keep an eye on my channel, my Twitter feed, and then the channels of all the competitors that are linked in the description. Let's go ahead and, and do Legacy, then DLL and BMG to sign us out for tonight. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great night. I'm sorry, you probably said me next. I'm gone today. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for having me on and really well played, B. Thanks, everyone. Uh, thank you thank you for having me, Vega, and uh, GG's DLL. And if you guys are still watching the stream and you haven't hit like, make sure you do so. It helps Vega out. <laughs> Have a good night, everyone. Take care, everybody. Have a great evening. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.